We have another new update on the Harry Potter TV show, this one coming to us again from Deadline, and it indicates that a big decision could be coming very soon. There's also a brand new name that's been thrown into the mix for us to consider. So just to catch you guys up, a couple of weeks ago, Deadline put out a report that stated WB and Max executives had met with four writers to hear how they would go about adapting the original seven book series. From there, the executives would pick their finalists to move forward to the next round, which would include a meeting with author J.K. Rowling in the UK. Now, according to Deadline, the four names being considered were British writer Martha Hillier, mostly known for her work on The Last Kingdom, Kathleen Jordan, creator of the Teenage Bounty Hunters, Tom Moran, the British writer behind The Devil's Hour, and Michael Leslie, writer for The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Well, now we have a new name from Deadline that's apparently being considered. Francesca Gardner is reportedly one of three finalists to land the job. And guys, I gotta say, Gardner has some really impressive credits to her name. She served as producer on HBO's Emmy award-winning series Succession, as well as producer on the HBO adaptation of His Dark Materials. She also wrote one episode for The Man in the High Castle and was a producer on Killing Eve. All of those shows have pretty solid review scores among both fans and critics, with Succession obviously being the standout. I think it's also a plus that she already has experience adapting a fantasy book series in His Dark Materials. And just to dig into that one a bit more, she was the executive producer specifically on six episodes of the third season. And if you take a look at those review scores even further, season three was was far and away the top choice of critics. Now, fan reception appears to have been more mixed. I did make sure to read through some of those, though, to try and get an idea of what exactly the fans didn't like as much. And to me, it seemed like most of the criticisms were actually directed at the source material rather than any mistake or shortcoming of the adaptation. But if you're a fan of his dark materials and you've seen the show, I'd love to hear from you. So let me know in the comments what you think. Now, another quick note here on Francesca is it sounds like she may already be a fan of the series. Just take a listen to how she answered this question in an appearance on the Elevator podcast. I always had the really unappealing um, desire to be top of the class and, and you know I feel very strongly aligned with the Hermione archetype. <laughs> <laughs> yes, which is which is you know it has its its benefits and also has its huge downfall. I mean my kudos as a as a social being at school was was not very high but my um, my love of learning um, was the thing that that made school enjoyable for me. And I don't know about for you guys, but for me, my number one criteria that I want to see in the person that they choose to lead this show is someone who is a true fan of the series. Someone who really gets these characters, who understands the book characters before they became movie characters. And obviously we can't say for sure that Francesca knows and understands all of that just based on that answer. But I do think it's very good to hear. And I actually listened to that whole podcast that she was on. There's way more in there about her writing and her experience. If you're too rigid about it, you will not do well. <laughs> so you have to you have to be flexible. But also in order for it to be good and for it to keep its artistic integrity, it's rather highfalutin for me to use those terms, but it's in order for it to keep its the thing that makes it good, the the, the spark of the idea in the first place, you also have to be protective of it as well. So if she ends up being the pick, that may be a fun one to actually go back to and see what all we can pick up on in terms of her writing technique. Now, I did mention three finalists for the new Potter show, but unfortunately, we don't know the names of the other writers who moved on to the second round, presumably with Gardner. We also aren't sure if this is the stage where Rowling has become more involved. Of course, as we talked about last time, she would absolutely need to sign off and be a major part of that final decision. For now, it seems that WB and Max are still declining to comment but Deadline had a note in their article that seems like they feel a decision could be very close to happening. Now, who knows how reliable their sources are, but it seems that Deadline feels very confidently, and they have been breaking a lot of stories recently on this new Harry Potter show. So hopefully they're right, and maybe the next time I'm talking to you guys about this, we'll actually have a name and know who is going to be leading this project. In the same article, they also made sure to again point out that Max is open to the idea of doing more than one Potter show, which of course already has fans speculating about possible spin-off ideas. I personally think there are so many fantastic ideas out there for other things they can do in the Wizarding World, but I still do fully expect that they are going to be focused and going all in on this Harry Potter reboot, at least to start this new phase of Wizarding World storytelling. Warner Brothers Discovery President and CEO David Zaslav has been very vocal about wanting the company to focus more on their biggest IPs like Harry Potter. In fact, it was their final big announcement at the Max Relaunch event. Of all the things they could have closed the show with, 
they chose to end it with the Harry Potter announcement. I think making it incredibly clear that Harry Potter and the Wizarding World as a whole are going to be a huge focus for this company for the next decade, because if you miss the details on the show, they are saying that this is going to be a decade-long series. And it's not just a show. Of course, we've talked about the games many times on this channel, but Universal has also announced a brand new theme park, and they've confirmed it will have a new Wizarding World section. Seriously, these details are incredible. You can check out that video on the left side of your screen now for everything we know so far about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic. As always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.